Good morning and welcome to Autobot Channel Kolkata. Today we are in Cherapunji. We reached here yesterday night and uh, it's a beautiful sunny morning in Cherapunji. Behind me is the Seven Sisters Falls. Unfortunately, the falls has dried up now because it's winter time. Again, it will be up and running when the monsoon sets in. Then we'll get to see the beautiful view of the Seven Sisters Waterfalls. Today is a day four of our Meghalaya trip and we'll be going to the double decker bridge today. Uh, it's almost 4, 4 to 4500 steps downstairs, same upstairs. So our whole day will be going there and we'll explore the place totally. We are extremely excited again, uh, like all our days and every day is getting better than the previous day. So we expect this day to be much better than the day we had yesterday. It's 9.45 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the weather is beautiful, sunny. It's 10 degrees. So we have some, we have put on some uh, winter clothing. So today it will be all about walking and trekking and exploring the double decker bridge. So we are going to start our day today, but before we do that, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe it. Hit the like button, uh, you know, to encourage us and also share the video in your social circle. So day four, Meghalaya trip. Here we go. this pristine world. We reached Cherapunji yesterday night after exploring the Living Roots Bridge in Rivai Village, Asia's cleanest village in Mollingong and the Dakulipu. Today, it is all about the single-taker and double-taker bridges of Nangriyat. There are also two more attractions in the village which are Rainbow Waterfalls and Blue Lagoon which we would be exploring if we get time. The distance from our hotel to Nangriyat village is about 17 kilometers which took us 45 minutes to reach. The road is quite narrow and curved between mountains. We also encountered some traffic on the way. Today will be over 5 kilometers of mountains and steep stairs for the whole trek. We will be climbing up and going down for more than 10,000 steps altogether, crossing 2 to 3 mountain streams and lots of lots of walking. The start of the journey was quite easy as we only had to climb down. It was still early in the journey and we were fresh from a good night's sleep. But after some time, it was quite clear to us that today is going to be a quite stressful physically. Some local kids came running to us during our trek and wanted to be our guide for a fee. But I myself took the responsibility of guiding my fellow partners for the entire day. On our way, we could see many locals offering to carry tourists if required for a small fee. There were many docks on the way which had been curved as sitting benches where one can sit and take some rest. We stopped for a few times to catch our breath and continued our trek down. Climbing down almost 2000 steps, 
we came to the first spot of today's trek which was the single decker bridge okay so the longest single decker bridge it is saying 3 minutes from here now we again have to go down here there is an entry fee of rupees 50 per person and also they charge rupees 100 for any dslr or action cam if you are carrying after reaching the spot we found that there was a long queue to cross the bridge as only two people are allowed at one time to cross the bridge there is a fine of 20000 if more than two people are found crossing the bridge and there is a local villager present at the spot to monitor the tourists this is also the longest single decker living roof bridge in the world proved to be quite challenging for me as this was the first time i was walking on a road bridge and it was shaking with all my weight to make the water worse the whole time i was on the bridge i was looking down and thinking that the roots is going to break at any moment thankfully by god's grace no such thing happened and we all safely crossed the bridge and came down the path momita was asking me to take some pictures of her crossing the bridge but i was busy managing myself and making my way to the exit as fast as possible later on i apologized to her for such a childish behavior and it costed me a pair of cakes and chocolates and a bottle of mountain dew to dose of her anger we're standing at the longest living roots bridge of india <laughs> the trek is is <laughs> very strenuous it's almost 2000 steps that you have to climb down to reach here and this Rubber tree is a natural formation. They strengthen the bridge every year. View here is spectacular. No matter how many times you watch it on the video or photographs or in a film anywhere, this is something that you have to experience in order to get the uh, total uh, beauty of this serene place. It's all nature. There are huge rocks surrounding here. The water is coming there from falls. You can also hear it in the background. Uh, the surroundings is extremely nice. Is quite uh, you can hear the crystal sound of the clear waters in fact the trek here is also a lot uh, the bridge is very old it's a uh, little bit tricky so there are only two people who who are allowed on the bridge if there are three people they will charge you a fine of 2000 20000 so that notice is clearly given there and one should not do it because again it's quite a old bridge and if something happens it Uh, we won't get to experience this this is a single one the double decker bridge is downstairs we again have to go steps down we'll be taking some rest here and enjoy the beauty of this place so stay tuned and keep watching the journey back from the single decker bridge was quite easy and we stopped for having some refreshments in a local shop From this point onwards we will be starting our trek towards the double decker bridge. Many travelers like us who were doing this trek for the first time returned back after only seeing the single decker bridge. The complete journey is quite strenuous. It really tests one's fitness. The long walk through the forest was quite peaceful and the beauty of the mountains which we could see at a distance was giving us the fuel to keep walking. Walking with the silence of the jungle we came across plenty of fellow travelers who shared their experience of the trip there were people from all over the country of all age groups and for many this was the first time holidaying in the northeastern part of our country
The double decker bridge is located deep inside the mountains and on checking the clock we found that 3 hours have passed since the time we started our journey. We again came across the hanging bridge during our journey and I was again very shaky and fearful of crossing the bridge. Rupantar and Momita both crossed the bridge with huge confidence and it almost felt like they do this every day. Show offs. Now, crossing the bridge, damn scary. Um, scared? Oh, uh, very much. Uh, <laughs> Finally, light at the end of the tunnel. Oh, after that scary bridge crossing, we are again ascending towards the double decker bridge. At one point, my heartbeat touched almost 175 beats per minute. So, I have to sit. Take some rest, bring it down to 1, 110, then again we start it. Finally, after a lot of walking, climbing, going up, coming down, getting lost, asking for directions, we finally reached the entry point of the double decker bridge. Here also there is an entry fee of Rs 50 per person and they charge 100 extra for any kind of DSLRs or action cams. We were quite exhausted after all the walking and decided to take some rest before exploring the grand place. The living room bridge here has two levels, apparently the river rises very high in the monsoons and it covers the original bridge so the locals had to build another bridge, hence it is called as the double decker bridge. Time for another death walk. I think this bridge is much more sturdier than the single decker bridge. Still tricky. And this is the second one. Another death walk. The double decker wood bridge is truly a sight to behold, with a gnarled route stretching right across the river to grasp the other side. There is also a small waterfall here and the water formed a lake-like structure which is quite shallow and teeming with fish. Bathing and fishing here are strictly prohibited but one can sit on the rocks and put their legs inside the water. The fishes will do a complimentary spa and the species are also indigenous to the region. We are standing at the double decker bridge, uh, we crossed the single decker bridge, this is the double decker bridge that you can see behind me. The trek uh, to the double decker bridge is a lot. Uh, we started at around 11.30 uh, at the main gate, after that we came to the single decker bridge and now it's almost 3 that we have reached the double decker bridge. I think we have at least climbed 2 to 3000 steps, the same number of steps going up. Uh, someone, somebody said it's 4,000 steps, someone said it's 5,000, so we have not counted because the trek was very strenuous, but 
the view the atmosphere is is completely worth it there is a waterfall here uh, this is a natural bridge that is there behind me it has been strengthened with some modifications by the locals there is a entry fee of 50 rupees for per person if you are bringing a gopro or uh, you are bringing a dslr they will charge you 100 rupees extra and if you want to do any kind of film shooting or pre wedding photography they will charge you 500 rupees one pre wedding is being shot uh, at the back i don't know if it's still there it was there water of this waterfall is crystal clear there is a lot of fish which you can see uh, fishing is not allowed it's it is prohibited which is very good because uh, local had to you know preserve the natural flora and fauna now it's getting a little late uh, we are at the late afternoon now we should be and uh, starting our trek back to the main gate because at 5 pm the main gate closes day 4 of our megalo tree trip consisted only of the single decker double decker bridge and the beautiful view that we were able to capture here now we'll be going back and i'll leave you with some shots and videos of this amazing place We did manage to capture some spectacular underwater footage of the fishes for our vlog. The path towards the rainbow waterfalls and blue lagoon starts from the double decker bridge, but we had no option but choose not to visit the rainbow waterfalls and the blue lagoon. The total time to visit the locations and came back to the in starting point was at least 4 hours and we didn't had that much of time in our hands. It was getting quite late and it was time for us to start our journey back to the original starting point from where we started in the morning the journey back to the entry point from where we started our journey today was always going to be difficult as now we will be mostly climbing up since we are trekking the whole day we are very exhausted There are many homestays in the village where one can stay at night and continue their journey the next day. If one has to complete all the attractions of location in one day, then the start time should be 6 a.m. when the village gate opens. Otherwise, it is not possible to cover the entire trek in one single day. The best time to visit the place is from November to May, which is the dry season. During monsoons. these attractions remains closed for public as we continue to climb up with our exhausted bodies and shattered legs we had to stop at the local shops for refreshments and rest post 5 pm the area became completely dark and we continued our trek upwards using our mobile phones as torch and pushing ourselves to extreme levels The weather during the day was cold and evening it got even colder but we were sweating like it was summer Finally after about 3 hours of climbing up we could see the entry gate from where we started in the morning Start to go 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 One finally complete Among the three of us, Rupa 
Samantha completed the trek one hour before us and was waiting for us at the entry point. A hot shower and snacks was required to wear out the body pain and with that in mind we started our journey towards the hotel. Driving back to the hotel we had Maggie and T on the way and realized it was time to end day 4 of the Meghalaya trip and give ourselves to the warmth of the day. Good evening guys. Uh, we have came back to our hotel after a long hard day. Today our entire day was spent in the uh, double decker bridge and the single decker bridge uh, trekking. It was a lot of fun but it took a lot of energy from us. In fact we were completely drained. We have to take a lot of rests in between. So we uh, reached the location at around 11.30. Uh, in the morning we started our trek by 11 45 and we came back it was six in the evening it took us more than six and a half half hours to uh, start from the uh, village to go down to single decker bridge then came back again go down uh, to the double decker bridge and finally came back to the starting point where we started our journey the complete trek was it was completely worth it because what we have seen there the natural formation of the rubber trees the single decker bridge then the double decker bridge atmosphere waterfalls while trekking the atmosphere the nature calmness of the nature silence of the nature when we were going when we were trekking it is something absolutely uncanny you have to come here experience it then only you can understand we are very happy that we have uh, did it we had an amazing day few things you need to keep in mind if you are going uh, for this trek uh, first of all this trek is not for everyone and why i'm saying this uh, if you have elderly people in your uh, group uh, if you have women if you have small children if you have people who have knee problems or some problems with leg or they cannot walk uh, too much they have problems climbing stairs please drop the idea of going there why i'm saying this because you have to go down climb up almost eight to ten thousand stairs and most of the stairs are quite steep many stairs are broken it is a difficult trek you have to keep this in mind when you are going for the trek make sure you are not carrying much luggage with you have lots of water with you you will also find a lot of shops in there uh, locally where you can have water you can have juice lemon juice etc all are there the cost is slightly high but that is arrangements are all there do not wear any kind of winter clothes even if you're going there on a winter because uh, it drains all your energy and you are gonna sweat like anything i have a habit of running marathon so it is like running a 10k marathon three to four times you need a lot of strength a lot of agility a lot of flexibility and a lot of fitness in order to do this one most important thing while you are starting the trek you will get bamboo sticks that is available there for rent they charge only 20 rupees please have it it helps a lot when you are going down when you are coming up uh, it supports a lot uh, to you know support your weight while climbing so this few things you required and one last thing which i forgot to mention please wear running shoes or walking shoes do not wear any trekking shoes do not wear any chappals uh, ketos anything because it will make your trek a lot difficult light running or walking shoes are the best because you have to walk you have to climb go down come up so a lot of steps a lot trekking shoes anyway are they are very heavy so not a good idea make sure you go in light it will be a little uh, better for you so this was our entire day day four of our megalo trip thank you for watching the video guys day four of our megalo trips end here tomorrow we start day five tomorrow will be the other attractions and sightseeing that is there in um, Cherapunji. and after that we are staying tomorrow at shillong in the same place that we have stayed uh, we are very tired but we are very happy this trip has been amazing so far and it will just continue to go better we don't want to go home but uh, all good things needs to come to an end we are at the middle of our trip we still have four, uh, three, four more days to go. So looking forward to that. So you know what to do uh, before I say goodbye to you. Subscribe to our channel, like the video and share it with your community. So it's a cold evening. It's 10 degrees. Uh, I'm uh, making this video standing outside of our hotel. And, I, I, and we all need to go inside and get fresh now. Take care and goodbye. See you soon in our day five.